video we're going to quickly look at Creative Commons and how we can put a Creative Commons license and attribution into our work and in this case our work is going to be an epic wallpaper in Acorn. Uh, we're going to use a browser with uh, creativecommons.org, we're going to use Acorn and to sanitize our text we're going to use a uh, text editor, in this case text wrangler. So let's get started. Um, at creativecommons.org up here we're just going to go to share your work which is the way you create a license and we're going to choose a license um, and go through this process here so let's get started so in the license chooser I have two main options the first one is allow adaptations of your work to be shared so if someone takes my work under Creative Commons and adapts it and changes it should they be able to share um, a lot of people want to say no at this point but uh, for the epic wallpaper project our work is a remix anyway so it seems a bit unfair to say I can use your work but you can't use mine so yes is a good option. I really like yes as long as others share alike because that forces people who adapt and share your work to also put their work under a Creative Commons license, spreading the Creative Commons love. So I'm going to select yes here. Um, you can always get help by clicking on this to understand that question. For allow commercial uses of your work, um, I'm going to say no. Uh, I don't want other people to make money from my work. Um, sometimes I say yes, but in this project I'm going to say no. If I do say yes, I need to make sure that all the work that I've used in my work also has yes on the license. So there's a bit of extra work. So, no. So what we see now is the characteristics of our license appearing down here. We've got a Creative Commons license. Um, we have to attribute, um, people have to attribute me if they use my work. They can't make money from it. And if they change it, they have to share it under a Creative Commons license. So I'm going to scroll down and there's an extra optional part where I can put in some extra content. So here I'm going to say epic wallpaper and I'm going to attribute this to Ross Parker. There we go. Right. So here's my personalized license. It consists of two parts. The first part is the badge and the second bit is the text. So let's see how we get in these into Acorn now. I'm going to right click here. And this is different in different browsers, but in Firefox I have this, Im this copy image option. So I'm then going to go back into my work, paste it, and I'm going to move it to where I want. Now this looks really small. I'm going to pop it in the corner and move it up and move it in the same number of spaces. There we go, nice and consistent. This looks small, um, but when we view this as a wallpaper, um, depending on your screen resolution, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look bigger, so that's okay. Uh, the next step is to copy just the text. Now, I don't want the coloring and the link in there, and that's where I'm going to use uh, Text Wrangler. So I'm going to paste it in, and because Text Wrangler is plain text only, it cuts all of this out. I'm now going to Command A for Select All, Command X for Cut, Command Q for Quit, and I'm going to come back to Acorn, and I'm going to paste that text in. Here it comes. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab my writing and I want to move it down. I don't want it to be this big, um, so I'm going to select it all and I'm going to reduce the font size down to 15. There we go. Uh, I, might, I might do Command B on the writing. And I'm going to put a second line underneath it. Let's have a look. Oh, oh what's happened there? Got a keyboard shortcut. It's gone to full screen for some reason. Right, let's get out of full screen. So I'm going to go back in and select the text. I'm going to add a second line, and the second line is going to be my attribution. So um, in this case, I haven't used anything, but let's imagine I use something. Um, I might say, um, I don't know, mouse silhouette image by uh, Frank from Flickr or something like that. And I might put this pipe symbol here and then do another one. Brick texture by Mary from the media comments. All right, I'm gonna make the second line not bold and I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller. It's a bit less important than the license. And I'm just gonna move that box down. There we go, so what I have is a neat and tidy badge, badge, license text, 
and attribution all at the bottom of my work and I can save it. And that's basically the process of taking a Creative Commons license, choosing the license you want and putting it into Acorn.